The Ghana Revenue Authority has earmarked about 50 businesses to begin with its electronic VAT invoicing system. And this, they've given them timelines, which was 1st of October 2022, to comply with the directive. But since then, we understand 25 businesses did comply with the directive, while other 25 businesses were quite reluctant. Throughout the week, the GRE has been busy closing down a number of shops across the city. And they started on Monday where four China mall shops were closed down. Now, we are currently at the very first place they came to to start with the operation. And I can see uh, that the place is still closed. And the commissioner's tape is still sealed at the entrance. Basically, they've been advised not to touch the commissioner's tape because that would really compound their situation. But from Monday to today, that should amount to five good days this China mall has not operated and that would mean or amount to a loss of revenue for the state and for the business owners. On a normal day, you would see a number of vehicles parked here basically to make purchases from China mall. And as it stands now, there is this vehicle that is turning to make its way back because he saw the notice that China mall has been closed and basically he feels so disappointed and is leaving. There is a notice here indicating to the public that China Mall has been closed for now. And there is that tape also right there cutting off the place basically to indicate to customers and the general public that this place is no longer uh, operational as it stands now until probably the issue they have with the GRA is resolved. We understand a number of customers do troop here. And you can see right behind me the shop is still closed. The entrance is actually sealed with the commissioner's tape uh, indicating to the general public that they have some situation they would have to deal with. We've seen that there are two security personnel uh, stationed at this particular mall basically to um, inform the public or those who are unaware of the situation that um, they are not uh, operating now. The trolleys have been left here redundant for the past five days. And basically that should indicate to you that a number of workers, dozens of them that really take their daily bread from these particular shopping centers are left with no option than to sit at home waiting patiently until the issues are resolved. When they came, they didn't even ask any of the workers anything or any of the management anything. They just came and they are locking the tent. This is why we are doing small, small to eat. If not for the sake of the foreigners, like something like me standing here, what will I do to get something to eat? So what you people are doing, instead you to do something, you push to tell us something. So the workers are still aggrieved, basically because they claim they've not been consulted, they've not been talked to by the GRE officials who came in here, but they are unable to even ask their own employer as to why uh, they have been locked out today. At the Regal restaurant at Osu, the manager of the facility expressed concern, noting that his attempt to hook onto the GRE EVAT system proved futile, a situation he blamed on the tax collector. The manager, Eddie Chang, spoke to City News. They keep the new link for us to do again. My programmer is we do again. How to get home is like this fast like this. This morning I talked to my uh, the programmer. What happened? Why up to now no 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 stop? I stop no problem. I respect the law. Your country the law I respect all. I did here 25 years. I no problem for this one. I understand this one. But it's he he was trying the people delay the time, not me. We are at the Palace Mall shop, the biggest one within the city, located around Spintes, and uh, we've seen that they've opened to business. We can see customers trooping in and out, buying uh, items and making payments here and there. Let's speak to the manager of the place, uh, Mohamed Salami, for him to shed some light on what the engagement with GRE has been so far. What has been the engagement between you and GRE? Okay, so the, for the past 48 hours, we've been working working on integration of the system and uh, with their support we have finally done it. Uh, today we are opening three of our, our branches. Uh, Spintex is already opened, Labone and Tema will open very soon. Uh, we just want to inform our customers too that we are ready to serve them and 
Uh, we want to thank GRA for standing by our side and being there the whole time to make sure all the integration and the test went successfully. Enforcement manager from the Accra region of GRA, Joseph Annan, addressed the media. The direction I was given is so clear. And if they hook their system to our system, I'll be told and be directed to come and open the place up. Because like I always say, we are men under instructions. We act on directives given by our superiors. So we are here on the field because our superiors have asked us to do what we are doing now. And if they ask us to come and open, surely we'll do so. About 13 shops were logged by a tax force from the Ghana Revenue Authority over non-compliance with East Electronic VAT invoicing system. And as of now, Palace Mall has started operating after they had some sort of cooperation with DRA. But behind me is Game Shopping Centre here at Accra Mall. And so far, we've seen that the place is still under lock three days after the place was locked by the tax force. A number of customers do come in. Upon seeing the closed gates, they leave disappointed. My name is Fred Duo reporting for City News.